Heavy taking his toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give integrity to the WWE title. John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joy ride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Tie up. This is about skill and power. to good use. Did you hear how his leg connected? If John Cena wins here tonight, he'll extend his already record number of WWE Championships to 10. And though that's on top of his two World Heavyweight Championship reign, Cena truly has one of the most historic championship histories of all time. And let's not forget that John Cena is also a former three-time United States Champion. At this point, King, I think it would be quicker to list the title Cena hasn't won. I think you're right. John Cena with a nice reversal. A textbook suplex. Great offense by John Cena. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? He was able to reverse that. He was one step ahead on that one. Oh my gosh! He saw that one coming. You know, it's no surprise that Alberto Del Rio is as good as he is in the ring. After all, he has the wrestling business literally flowing through his veins. That's right, King Del Rio is the nephew of the great Mil Mascaris and the son of the famous luchador Dos Caros. And by the way, I've been told that Dos Caros shares the same bloodline with Spanish royals Ferdinand and Isabella. I guess that makes Alberto Del Rio royalty, in addition to being the first ever Mexican-born WWE champion. Hey, royalty, I thought that's me. He drops the elbow. There's another elbow drop. And he reversed it. Good move there. And the knuckles connect. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? John Cena being pressed hard. And that one hurt his hand. Cena reverses it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. The last time the WWE Championship changed hands here in Buffalo was back in December of 2008 when Jeff Hardy defeated champion Edge and Triple H in a triple threat match at Armageddon to capture the title. That is actually the only other time Buffalo has played host to a WWE title change. Yeah, and back to Buffalo quickly, they had actually never seen a World Heavyweight Championship change hands until a few moments ago when Mark Henry defeated Randy Orton for the title here at Night of Champions. Mark Henry is an absolute beast. Oh, it took yeah. him 15 years, but he finally won the World Championship. Congratulations! to the world's strongest man. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never-say-die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great! Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. Oh, that's right. 
I love this emotion from the WWE Universe. And you know John Cena loves the reverse reaction he gets as well. He actually feeds off of it. No superstar in history has received the emotional response for his matches the way that John Cena has. He's probably the most provocative superstar we've ever had in WWE. Alberto Del Rio's path to the WWE Championship, which he claims was his destiny, started this past summer when he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. And to capture that briefcase, Del Rio had to outlast seven other superstars. Listen to this list. The Miz, Jack Swagger, Rey Mysterio, Kofi Kingston, Alex Riley, R-Truth, and Evan Bourne. Yeah, pretty impressive. But getting back to the Money in the Bank ladder match, the intensity. Yeah, what a move! John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joy ride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Collar and elbow battling for control. John Cena going for it. Here we go with John Cena. He was one step ahead on that one. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Nice reversal there. Alberto Del Rio says he wants to represent the people in the WWE title with respect, honesty, and passion. What? Respect, honesty, and passion? Come on, give me a break, Cole. His actions are more like an arrogant bully than anything else. Can you really believe he's arrogant? I mean, yes. when you have a fleet of cars and a seemingly bottomless bank account like him, it's probably pretty hard to hide it. Okay, I'll give you that. But you cannot deny that he's a bully. I mean, just look at what he's done to Rey Mysterio and Christian. His cross arm breaker has unnecessarily nearly ended their careers. Oh, cool, look at that. Now that's how you hurt an opponent. He's got him up. Oh, took that all on the spine. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Alberto Del Rio's path to the WWE Championship, which he claims was his destiny, started this past summer when he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. And to capture that briefcase, Del Rio had to outlast seven other superstars. Listen to this list. The Miz, Jack Swagger, Rey Mysterio, Kofi Kingston, Alex Riley, R-Truth, and Evan Bourne. Yeah, pretty impressive. But getting back to the Money in the Bank ladder match, given Del Rio's amateur background and strong mat presence, I wouldn't have necessarily pegged him as an accomplished ladder match competitor. But he was amazing in it. Surprisingly, it's not always the high flyers who win ladder matches. Last year alone, we had Kane and Jack Swagger win Money in the Bank ladder matches. Needless to say, neither of those two. Incredible move by John Cena. Alberto Del Rio has to be learning now what it means to be in a championship match with John Cena in his never-say-die attitude. Oh, you're right about that. This match is truly emblematic of Night of Champions. What we're witnessing here tonight is great! Alberto Del Rio says that he's going to change WWE forever, that he will replace legacies with his destiny. At this point, though, he's going to have to get through what looks like a very determined John Cena. Oh, that's right. Oh, John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking its toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this point. He'll do everything he can to give integrity to the WWE title. You hear how his leg connected? And he does it one more time. Look out. And that series ends in deadlock. 
neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. What a display of power. Just tossing him to the ground. Oh, what an elbow drop. Got out of the way of that one. There's one for the highlight reel. reaction he gets as well. He actually feeds off of No superstar in history has received the emotional response for his matches the way that John Cena has. He's probably the most provocative superstar we've ever had in WWE. A quick cover. And he manages to get the shoulder up. was picture perfect. What a kick that was. He's got him hooked. He's got him up. Ouch. He wasted no in a kick out by Cena. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. John Cena was a ladies and gentlemen. John Cena is now a 10-time WWE champion. Oh, that's great. Let me say it. The champ is here. Well, let's just savor this reaction for a moment. A picture is worth a thousand words right now. And John Cena celebrating like it was the first time he ever won the WWE title. You will do, I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. Who's really pulling the strings? Is it you? Is it your bean-headed wife? You don't wear the pants in the family, but you do wear her panties, don't you? You disrespected me as a man. Now, deal with me as a man. So at Night of Champions, no disqualification, punk. Anything goes. It's not if, but when I beat you. You resign as COO at WWE. Done.